This video explains how to set up the EFS driver card interface and create the driver advance rules. A subsequent video explains how to advance money to the driver from the dispatch system. Step one is to define what the user can do in the card system. For each user, they will have security rights. Drill into the user, go to the settings tab and go down to the user asset rights. Expand that grouping and go down to the bottom to see the driver card capabilities. If they have full rights, they can do everything with the driver card. Or they may only be able to read if they have read only. They can update the card and manage the cards. They can load money to the card or they can remove money from the card. You have the option of setting any of these rights for each individual user. You also have some corporate level settings to speed up the process of setting your cards up. Go to the system tab, go to how we configure the system and go to the subscriber finance default. Expand those settings and down near the bottom you'll find some settings that you can use to help set defaults for when you set up driver cards. For example, what parts of the pay are you going to use to calculate their driver advance? and the percentages and fees to use. The TMS EFS system has the following main components. First, link the driver cards from the EFS system to the corresponding driver in the TMS system. Second, set the rules and defaults to use when a driver is given advance. Third, in the TMS system, when you are ready to give the driver an advance, the system will calculate the maximum allowable advance based on their trip pay and the rules you set. Fourth, put the advance money on the driver card and automatically create the necessary deductions in the settlement deduction system. Fifth, an advanced feature is to allow the driver to self-serve by getting their advance automatically via the Circle mobile app. This next section will explain how to link driver cards between the EFS and TMS systems. To set up the cards, you need to go to the Assets tab and then to the Cards menu option. The most important button on this whole screen is the Refresh button. The Refresh button will reach out to the EFS system get all the information about the cards and refresh all the data on this grid. You should click the refresh button every time you go to this screen. The default grid will have information that is both in your system and in the EFS system. The card number is in both systems. Reference number is something internal to the TMS system. The internal assigned is the driver user assigned from the TMS system to the card. The external assigned is what the EFS system has assigned to the card. The current cash value of the card from the EFS system, some other flags, who the owner is, the max amount the driver is allowed to get, the external status of the card, whether it's inactive, active, or on hold, and a comment. Of course, just like any grid, you can go to the Hide Show and add and remove other pieces of information about the card from both the EFS system and from the internal system. If you look at both the TMS system and the EFS system, you will see the pieces of information that are mapped. The special color coding of this grid are as follows. If the driver is no longer active in the TMS system, it will appear in red. If the driver is unassigned, it'll, it'll appear in orange. If the driver name in the TMS system does not match the driver name in the EFS system, the EFS system name will appear in orange. If the card is inactive or on hold, it will appear in red. This next section will explain how to link driver cards between the EF and TMS systems. To edit a card, click on the reference number to open the card edit screen. The screen is divided into four sections. Section 1 shows who created, updated, or unassigned the card, who the card is assigned to, the deduction type to use when doing an advance. The deduction type is chosen from your list of valid deductions. And if the driver can self-serve via the Circle mobile app. Section 2 shows the information from the EFS system. Most important for us is the assigned driver name, the card status, and the current cash value on the card. Section 3 shows the rules for calculating the advance. You need to select which types of the driver pay, line haul, fuel, accessorial, and empty pay, will be used to calculate the advance. Then define the percentage of these amounts to be used for the calculation. Below that is an area where your company can define how the fees are to be applied. These are optional and can be divided into an internal fee and the EFS fee. If you charge your driver any transaction fees, this is where it would be defined. You must also define the deduction type where the fee will be applied. The deduction type will appear on the driver pay sheet. The how to apply the fee has three options. Add fee to transaction amount means if the advance is $100 and the fees are $4, the total advance will be $104 and the driver will get $100.
the driver will have a total of 104 deducted from their next pay. Fee and transaction amount means if the advance is $100 and the fees are $4, the total advance will be $100 and the driver will get $96. The driver will have a total of $100 deducted from the next pay. Ignore means fees will not be charged. If the advance is $100 and the fees are $4, the total advance will be $100 and the driver will get $100. The driver will have a total of $100 deducted from their next pay. The last part of Section 3 is an area you can enter any free form notes. Section 4 will have the control buttons. The copy defaults button is a quick way to copy the corporate default settings into the driver card settings. Once copied, you can still edit and make changes. The transactions button will let you see all the transactions on the card including the changes to the card definition and any cash advances, fee charges, or canceled advances. If the card is assigned, there will be a, an unassigned button to remove the TMS driver from the card. If the card is not assigned, there will be an assign button. There will be an update button to save any changes to the screen. And finally, a cancel button to return to the grid without saving any changes. Let's do an assignment of a card. I will click on card 10, which is unassigned. It opens up the screen. I will pick the driver that it should be assigned to, pick the deduction type. I'll go down, copy all my defaults, make sure that I have a deduction type for all the card fees, put in any kind of comment, and update. And now the card is assigned. Once a driver card is set up, it can be used by dispatch to give advances to drivers. Please watch the next video in this series, which shows how to do driver advances.